Today we are gonna explore how this thing works. Now, this, this thing is a color sensor uh, in the LEGO EV3 world, and uh, I've got two of them on this robot. Don't these color sensors make the robot look like it has eyes? What I really wanna focus on is how to follow the black lines on the first LEGO League Hydrodynamics map, and then a quick suggestion at the end. We have this awesome tool, the light sensor or color sensor, and we need to understand how it works and why it works. The light sensor has two different parts. It has a light at the top of it and then a kind of a sensor part at the bottom. The light shines and then it sees different things. It bounces off of things. One of the properties of light is that it bounces off of things. So depending on how much light comes back into the sensor off of something, that is how the light sensor senses the light. If 100% of the light comes back in, then it's seen something that's really reflective, probably a mirror. Uh, if only 5% of the light's coming back in, it's probably seen something that's black or very, very dark. So that answers the question how it works, but let's find out why it works to help us follow the line. We have two different colors and each color reflects a different amount of light back into the light sensor. So we can say if, we're gonna learn a, a, a new statement, if the it sees black, then it's gonna do something. We're gonna put a program block in. If it sees the opposite of black, which is white, all the black lines on First Lego League are surrounded by white, then it's gonna do something else. So uh, it's gonna bounce off of the black line just like this. It's gonna make the robot bounce off the black line. Let's go to the program. Okay, I know that was super quick on the paper, but let's take a look at it in the programming environment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my orange tab and I'm gonna click a loop and I'm gonna explain that in just a second. Uh, but the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look right here. And it kinda of looks like, uh, if I pull this up, if it kinda of looks like, well, if I see black, then I could do something. If not, then do something else. If I see anything other than black, I can do something. So it gives me two options, and that's what we want. We want two different options. So I'm going to click on this button right here, and this allows me to change what's called the condition of the check mark in X, or the true and the false, or the two options, that change, which option to choose. So I'm gonna click on color sensor, and I'm gonna compare the color. So then it comes up with a little red dot right there, and I can select colors. So I'm gonna click on the five, and it gives me a list of colors. I don't want red, I want black. All right, black. So now I'm gonna to go to the move, uh, the green tab, and I'm gonna pull up a move tank, and I'm gonna put it in the check box. I'm gonna pull up another move tank, and I'm gonna put it in the X box. All right, and now I'm just gonna turn them both on because I don't care how long they run for, they can run forever, I could fall walk line forever. So I'm gonna change one to 15, and one to five. Actually, I'm gonna make this one five, and this one 15. And then I'm gonna make this one 15, and this one five. So if you notice, I made this one five, this one 15. So one wheel's going faster than the other. This wheel's going faster, C's going faster. So the robot's gonna turn to the left. And if uh, this wheel's going faster and this wheel's going faster, the robot's going to turn to the right. So if it sees black, it's gonna turn a little bit left. And if it sees white, then it's gonna turn a little bit right. And whew, that's a tongue twister. And uh, it's going to keep doing that for infinity, unlimited amount of time. So here's where the loop comes in. I just wanna say time, and I'm gonna make it go for, sure, five seconds works for me. I'm gonna download it, and let's see if it follows the line. Now I did make one mistake in my program, and it was because of a small little error that I made uh, just looking at the color. Black is one, 
not seven. Seven is brown. And the light sensor and the color sensor is really good at telling the difference between black and brown. So when I went to run the program the first time, it didn't work, so I had to come back and I changed it, re-downloaded it, and it works great. Now, a first LEGO League mat is really busy this year. So there's black there, there's black there, there's black there, there's black here. If the color sensor is driving across here and you want to stop at this black line, it might stop beforehand if it sees this black. So my suggestion would be to drive forward till you're close to the white, stop, use rotations and just stop there, then go forward very, very slowly until you see a white line so use a, the color sensor to see white, then turn, and then you can follow the black line. I hope that all made sense. Following a line is a little deep concept, but very doable, very important for the students to understand. If you're a student, I hope you understand. Comment below. If you're a student and you got this and you're gonna follow black lines, I'd love to hear it. See you in the next video.